Right. I, <clears throat> I'm using Chief Premier. I don't have interiors, and I don't really know the limitations of interiors. There are a bunch of ways to do this. Um, the simple way is just to build a roof. So I'm just going to I'm just going to draw a space. I'm going to build a new floor. So now I've got a two floor structure and I'm on the second floor. So I'm going to go over here to build roof planes. And I'm just going to leave the pitch at eight. And I'm going to uncheck, or I'm going to check, ignore top second floor. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to take a cross section. So that's that's what we have. We've got a, a first floor here, and we've got a second floor up here. And that's that's not what you want because you want some knee walls in here. And again, there's a bunch of ways to do that. I'm going to put 36 in this raise lower from ceiling height. Say OK. And build a roof. And you can see that raised it up. Now your knee walls are in, inside probably. But you can draw your walls in there. That shows us where the ceiling is right now. This little... I think what I'll do is I'll make this... And I'll make this gable walls. I'll rebuild the roof. I'm just going to leave auto rebuild on for right now. I've got to ignore, I've got to ignore top floor. So I have to set the first four walls to gable to get that to build. And you can see up here there's our roof, or there's our ceiling plane. Now what happens if I make this steeper? I'm going to make this 12. And now there's our ceiling plane up here. Now you can see the where the break ceiling breaks. This is the ceiling right here in the middle. See so if I uncheck flat ceiling over this room, that goes away. We'll look at that cross section. Now there's no ceiling up there. So that's that's one simple way of doing this. So I'm going to delete the roof planes. So now I've just got a second floor space up there. You could do this on the first floor too. It doesn't you don't have to do it on the second floor, but and there's our default second floor space. So I'm gonna go back over to plan and I'm gonna go up here and just choose ceiling plane. And I'm going to draw a ceiling plane. See if I can't pick up. There's the center of the room right there. So I'm just going to select this and drag it over. And then I'm going to copy and reflect about right there. So now I've got two ceiling planes in that room. So let's look over here. Now there's my ceiling planes way up there. They pick the ceiling planes pick up the default um, roof pitch. So what I can do is I can come back over here. I can select those ceiling planes. 
And I can open them up. Come back over here to general. Lock the pitch. And let's say I want them, uh, let's see here. I can say from four. So I'm going to make these 36. Let's see what that does. Say OK. And then we'll look in section. And there's my ceiling planes. And there's what I'm looking at. I put a flat ceiling over the room. And there's my flat ceiling. So let's go inside. So there's my space. Now again, you can do all this on the first floor. You don't have to do it on the second. Um, you can't. You, you don't want to do it in the attic. Um, but if that's all you need, you know that that's just a simple way of building the space. Now the the problem might be is you've got skylights, I think, in that space. You've got these big old skylights in here. So let's go back over here. And let's see if we can put a skylight in here. Nope, no skylight. So it looks like you're going to need uh, roof planes to do that. So I'm just going to... I'm going to control Z a bunch of times. There's our roof planes. And now there's our skylight. And these are the ceiling planes I drew. At least I think they're the ceiling planes. They may—they are probably—they could be the roof planes if the ceiling planes aren't in the right spot. But you can draw ceiling planes underneath roof planes. Works just the same.